Welcome back, Matt Zero here. And today I'm giving you five tips to always remember when you are subtracting. Okay, let's check it out. Tip number one, column titles. Put your column titles above the correct columns. Units, tens, hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, whatever it is, get them in there so we are aware of what we are doing in the operation at the time, okay? Tip number one, column titles. Tip number two, write as you read. Remember, subtraction questions are non-commutative. You can't move the numbers in the question around. You have to write it and answer it as it is written. If it says 124, subtract 34, you have to write it 124 on the top, subtract 34. If the question read, if the question says 34 subtract 124 you can't just put the bigger number on the top you have to write 34 subtract 124 knowing we're going to get into negative numbers okay so tip number two write it as you read it tip number three start at our smallest value it might be units it might be decimals okay but we always know the further to the right on our place value the smaller value. We always start at our smaller value so that if we've got something to borrow, we have got something bigger next door to borrow from. Start at our smallest value is tip number three. Tip four, if we need to borrow, borrow from next door. If I have 251, subtract 19, I cannot take nine away from one. So my one has to get bigger. How am I gonna get bigger? I'm gonna knock next door and borrow from my tens column. Borrow one of my five tens, put that down to a four, and make my one an 11. 11 subtract nine is doable. Okay, good. Tip number four, borrow from next door. Oh, rhymes. Tip number five, complete your question. Don't forget to always finish your number sentence. 251 subtract 19 needs an answer. Give it the answer. Don't just leave it there in the answer row. Tip number five, always finish your answer. They are your five tips to never making mistakes in column subtraction. Okay, check it out. Make sure you're familiar with them and you're feeling good about them. Like and subscribe to this video. We have loads of videos coming all the time for all your mathematical needs. Quick videos like this or long explanation videos, we have got you covered. Okay, thanks very much. Peace.